Hi everyone, I am Rishav and in this video, I would be telling you about building our meme app. Yes, building our meme app and this is the continuous session of our Android development course. Now there was a huge gap between the last video that I posted and this video, right? So uh, it will not happen in the further video continuation. I will post the videos at the interval of regular rate, right? So in today's video, what we are going to learn about is that our API call. Yes, we are going to learn about APIs, how we fetch APIs, how we fetch the data in our API to our Android app, how we put it in our image view, like from an URL to an image view, how we can share it, like it was already shown in my birthday wishing app video. If you have not checked that video, you can go and check that video. It will be given at the I button. right so one more thing if you're liking my videos subscribe my channel so that whenever i post new videos on this channel you will get a notification at the point right so subscribe my channel like this video share it with your friends so that they can also learn things from my channel right i want to provide value to you all of guys right so let's just begin without wasting any time so first thing that i will tell you about is api calling right so what is an api like many of you th those who are beginners might not might not know what is an api so api is a application programming interface now through which we pass data in json format and all these things like calling an api we pass json data and we fetch it and all these things happens like fetch get and all these things right so that is the main thing that we especially use in uh, calling an api right so in this video i will show you all the things like we will be learning about by doing a meme app now many of you like memes like sharing memes to your friends so you will build an app so that you can share memes to your friends using whatsapp means we will be using our app we will see the memes and we can share that memes to our friends easily like right so let's just begin without wasting any time so in my screen you can see that i have started a basic empty activity right so in this it is the creation of my new project so i am selecting empty activity do this thing click on next now here you will see that different things are coming like application name package name save location language and all those things so all these things are clear to you so application name i will simply give meme app right meme app so that is the meme app saving location this one language selected java it may be kotlin selected java and don't tick on this one legacy support on this one so it will prevent from using the jetpack libraries so don't tick on this one rest keep the things like this click on finish it will create a new project for you right so you can see that new project is being created meme app in front of you right so you can see it is uh, doing all the things it is updating then it will do indexing importing then gradle import and all those things and once it is finished the gradle build our project will be ready to start so gradle build is almost done so that is our figma file now here you can see that our me map basic me map here is the next button here is the share button and here is the meme image and here is the heading right so that will be our uh, basic thing for our me map nothing fancy it is simple app so we have two buttons one image view and one text view right so you can see it is now clear from here so i will open my android studio so uh, you can see in my android studio all the things are set up gradle build has been finished right so as i told you the first thing that you have to do is using view binding right so we have to use view binding in our project so to use the view binding simple one line of code come into your gradle script in the build.gradle file in after this compilation option paste this build features view binding true and click on sync now it will enable the view binding for you guys so that you can use it simply now the things are mostly done in this part so let us move into the xml code and let's just start our main xml part that is the designing part right so there is the text view i will remove the basic text view and the next thing that comes out here is our image view so the first thing that i will be adding is image view right we have the main image view where we will put our memes so simple i will write your image view and once you and its layout with i will give match parent right so i want it to take the whole space so i have given match parent and its layout height simple you can give zero dp because we don't know these things or you can give also one thing wrap content right 
or you can give it zero dp because we are going to constrain it right so that was the image view now inside this thing i have not given anything right so first of all we had a text that is a heading text right so i will give a text view so that it will be clear right so layout with i will give wrap content layout height also i will give wrap content and in the text i will give here meme meme sharing app right so that was our basic text here right and the next thing is uh, to constrain this text that is our title right so i will give constraint start to start of parent and i will give constraint end to end of parent right so that was constraint at the center right and i will give constraint top to top of parent now after this thing what i have to give here is margin so i will give layout margin 16 dp that is our professional margin we give 16 dp now we have to make this text a little bigger so that it might be visible to us so i will give uh, text size i will give 22 sp we have our text in sp uh, let us give 26 so it will be clear and uh, i will give text style uh, I will give the text style as bold so that it will be clear to us now one thing that I have always told you that uh, you have to use uh, This one show system UI so that in this side you can see the thing now you can see there is a tab bar means action bar at the top I don't want that I want to change the colors also right so let us now just change the colors and once doing that I will come into the image view right so in this side in the resource folder come here and after that go in the values and in the themes so in the themes i will remove the night theme we don't need the night theme currently we are performing one theme only so i will change this in the themes folder once you have come in the themes folder you can see that is the thing now in this uh, dark action bar i will simply change this dark action bar to no action bar right so it is done dark action bar i have changed to no action bar and uh, this things the colors i have to change here right so the colors i need only the first color that is purple 200 and others i don't need currently so i will remove all of them and i will import colors from my figma file which i will show you so i have this color it looks good so here in this background so first i will give the background color so in this color i will write background and i will give uh, this color as my background right and one more color i have to also give that is our button so for button i will be using a color this one so i will copy this color from in the figma file i am selecting the color from different file but uh, don't worry you can take any of your choice in colors right so in here i will give another color tag and here i will write button color and i will give an hashtag with that our that one the color i have put so this is our basic color no more changes in this one so in the themes file now you will see purple 500 error is coming so we will change it to background right so simply change the purple 700 and other colors that are showing error to background color so that the thing will be easy for us to continue now that is done so our basic thing of our project has been done so now you can see that uh, the thing has gone from the action bar has gone right and meme sharing app is coming so basic thing is done now the next thing that we have to do is we have to give the uh, background to this whole activity so i will give the background as background now you can see meme sharing app is looking a little bit odd because of the color so i have to change the, the text color uh, to white so I will simply give text color white. Now you can see it is clear and it is now visible, right? So now our basic thing, our title text. So I am giving an ID to this text view, title, right? So title, and now we have an image view. So I will also give an ID to this image view also. So I will give meme image, right? Meme image, so it is good to go. Now in this image view, I have not constrained anything, right? So I have to constrain start to start off i will give it parent and then constraint end to end of i will always give parent because i want to constrain it from both the parents right 
and then I have to give the constraint top. So constraint top, what I will do here is I will constrain its top to the bottom of this title because I want this image view after this thing, right? So I will give constraint top to bottom of the ID. I will give it title, right? So you will see it has come at the bottom. So one error I have given here constraint instead of bottom, it will be top. So now it is good. And the last thing the constraint uh, this constraint I will give later after giving the buttons so I'm keeping this constraint like this only currently and one more thing I want to give the margin so I would give layout margin and I would give 16 dp again 16 dp the manual one right so now uh, we have two buttons right at the bottom we will have two buttons so let's just start working with our buttons so in the buttons first button I am giving layout with I will give uh, 0 dp and the layout height i will give 72 dp so layout height i will give 72 dp so layout height i have given 72 dp right so that is our height and width now what i have to give here is text so in this text uh, what i will give here is uh, let us uh, give share so first one is share button so i have given share now i have to change the background also so i will give background tent as my button color so now you can see at this top uh, it is a bit visible to us right the share now i want to constrain it with the so i will give constraint bottom to bottom of parent because we want at the bottom so constraint bottom has been done and now we have to give the constraint start so i will give constraint start to start off and again same thing parent now the constraint is almost done the other constraint i will give it later now we have another button also so i will copy this whole button and uh, i will come at the bottom and i will paste it now we have to give the ids also right we i have forgot to give the id so give, let's give the id so first one id will be share and the next one id so next button was uh, next right so i will give it next right now change the text also to next and this color i will also change to purple 200 right and uh, constraint start to start i don't need i will uh, delete this one and i will give it to constraint end to end right so constraint end to end of parent so it will be constraint at the left uh, right side right now what i want is i want to take the whole space here so for that we have to uh, chain the two of the buttons horizontally so come in the design section we were in the split come in the design section and after that select both the buttons you can see next and share is there so by pressing control select both of them at a time and then right click on your mouse and then this pop-up menu will appear in front of you from there select on chains and then click on create horizontal chain and once you click on that you will see it is taking the whole space right so that's the chaining system that is like how we do chains now I want uh, to chain this thing again so I will right click on this one again like select both of them do right click and in this chains come on the chain style and I, I will select packed right so it is done so now you can see that both of the things are done now you can see that uh, both the buttons are like this now i want to give a margin to this that is our uniform margin of 16 dp so i will simply write here margin and i will give a margin of 16 dp right and uh, for share button also i will give margin 16 dp right so both will have now a little bit margin with uh, each of them and now it is looking good you can see both the buttons are now looking pretty much good now i also want to change the text also a little bit more large size text i want so i will simply give text size text uh, size i will give uh, 18 sp and uh, for next button also text size text size i will give 18 sp right so both are now looking pretty much good so if we run our app currently let us just see like how our app is going to look like so i have opened my emulator so if i run it again 
so this is my emulator so i am running it so you will see launching activity and uh, it is launching so let's just see yes so now it is looking pretty much good meme sharing app share button next button it is looking really good right so the next thing we don't have any image here right so we have to give the image now one more thing like uh, we are loading this whole thing from internet like uh, it will take a little bit of time like if you see other apps like there is a round progress bar that happens right so i will also implement that progress bar so that you can understand the thing of progress bar right now uh, as i told you the image view i have not given the constraint of the one constraint i have not given this one right so i want to constrain this thing with this share button so i have come here so i will give constraint bottom to top right bottom to top of and i will simply give here share right so you will see that it will take the whole space from after the title to the share right and it will have a uniform 16 dp margin right so now it is looking pretty much good and i will give a progress bar after this image view so i will simply write progress bar right and in this uh, layout width i will give it uh, 120 dp and layout height i also will give 120 dp so it will look good progress bar and uh, then i will give uh, uh, i have to give the colors to this progress bar or else it won't be visible to us so i will give a color to this progress bar also uh, and in this color i will give this one so i will paste a color here so you will see this one i have given indeterminate true then indeterminate tint mode i have given this one and in this indeterminate tint i have given purple 200 so that the progress bar color will be uh, purple 200 right now it is looking a little bit uh, bigger in size so i am giving it 80 dp and changing this also to 80 dp ATDP, right so now it is looking uh, pretty much good now i have to constrain this thing so i will write constraint top to top of i will give uh, ima meme image then i will give constraint start to start again i will give meme image i will constrain it with the meme image itself and uh, then i will give constraint end to end i will give it same thing that is meme image and constraint bottom to bottom of meme image right so it will come at the center now it's looking pretty much good i think now our xml code is good to go we can simply work with this thing easily right we have our progress bar we have our image view we have two buttons now the main thing comes of the functionality right so let's just begin with our coding functionality part so first thing view binding is enabled so come in this project section and after that close all the things from the resource now come in the java and inside this main activity right so first thing that we have to do in this main activity is adding our view binding first thing that we have to do is adding our view binding so that we can use it so first thing uh, i will give activity main binding and then i will define it as binding we have to create the object binding right and now here i will uh, set value to this binding so i will give binding equals to uh, activity main binding dot inflate and inside this i will pass get inflator get layout inflator right so our view binding is done and in this set content view i will give binding dot get root so simple thing right so doing this thing binding is being done so if you have not the previous video of binding so there are videos in which i have showed you binding view binding so you can see that right so in this project we have set up our view binding now if you have remember we have two things the two buttons right so in this xml we are having two buttons first one is next and the ne uh, second button is share so we have to set on click listener on these two buttons first one will be next and the share button so i will simply write binding dot next dot set on click listener right and inside this i have to pass the object new on click listener and it will open up this one right so here i will perform the whole thing in a function so uh, i will uh, uh, write here a function get memes 
get meme right so this is a function i have created right and in another button i will write binding dot shear to perform the on click i will write binding dot shear dot set on click listener and then i will do an object new on click listener and in this i will uh, give a function share meme share meme right so that are our two functions so let us just now make this function this showing error so hover onto this it will show create method i will click on this and click on main activity so it will do private void shared meme for get memes also let us do this one create method main activity so both the um, functions are being done get memes and share memes right so now once we click on this uh, next button this function will be performed and once we click on share button this share meme will be performed right so that is our basic on click listener and all these things now what our main task is to do we have to come into our api calling part right now to call an api what we simply need is volley library to call an api we need volley api library right now volley api library is preferred by google itself like uh, you can see in the developers document official android documents volley overview and all these things are done here so you can come here and you can see to add this volley we need dependency right so we have to implement this dependency so from here come here copy this one i will give this link at the description box you can also come and check that one from my description box now come in the project section and after that come in the gradle as we add dependencies come here and after in this part in the dependencies paste it and click on sync now so our volley library will be added simply right now i will show you that how we can use volley library but one more thing that is our library will be needed is glide now what is glide now as i told you that to load the image into the image view from an url we need glide so i will search here glide library right so glide library will come this one so this is the official github for glide you can see all these things now we have some dependencies we have to do that now come in the dependencies and copy this dependency and again come into your android studio and paste it here and click on sync now once you have done this thing it will uh, automatically add the glide and the library so you can see it is downloading and uh, it will be done right so that are the basic two libraries that we need now for doing our volley library we have to perform some task of api calling right so let me show you the api part from where we will get so in this uh, if you come in google and if you search for uh, meme api meme api github right so here is the meme api uh, it takes memes this is the meme api it uh, here is the link api link so this thing what happens here is it performs a json object it passes a json object when we put get request in this api link it gives all the things like post link then uh, title then url and all these things right so it simply perform all these things if you do the api call so if i click on this api so you will see that uh, post link is coming like this now there is an extension called json extension so using that you can see it clearly or you can also use postman right so that are a type of things which you can use to perform api tasking right so i am not showing currently with that so that is this is our basic api right so we will use this api using volley library now in this volley library if you come that uh, make a standard request because as you see in this one uh in this api call if you see in this api we are having a json object because in json object means uh, we are having inside this curly braces that means we are having a json object and uh, which we have post link then the sub date and all these things right so that is known as a json object so if you come in this documentation of android you will see that request a json you can see json object request right so we have our java code so we will uh, simply copy this whole thing okay we will simply copy this whole thing and we will come back 
in our android studio to perform our json object request and in this get memes i will simply paste the whole thing right now a lot of errors will be coming in front of you you might get distracted with these errors so don't worry we have to import all those things so if you hover on this thing you will see import class click on import class it will import the json object request after that do it will all the other things like this one then import other things like import this one json object we have to import so hover on this one click on import right then volley error also we have to import click on import it will it will be imported now this thing remove this thing we don't need this one now uh, text view also we don't have so remove this one okay so this is the basic thing now this is a string url uh, we have to pass our api url in this one right so as we have our api here so i will simply copy this whole thing the api link and inside this string url uh, that is our url string i will paste it here so that is our api url from which we will post the data so what is happening in this poly library let us just see so first thing what we are doing is json object request so that is a part of our volley library itself so json object request we are creating a json object in which we are passing the method that is get method right so that is a json request dot method get then we have to pass the url that is the string url we have to pass like where we are making the request then json request uh, we are not doing any json request so we are giving null and then it will give the object means it has different methods like on response and we are getting a json object response right so uh, we can use this response and we can get the things that we are getting from the api so if you see in this api if i uh, paste it here you will see this thing like this is coming right so we are getting all this thing post link then subreddit and all these things so we can simply access all these things that we are getting from the api using this response right so in this response we are getting uh, this whole json object and we can access it now here is a url you can see of the image that we will be showing so if i copy this uh, url and if i open it in other tab so you will see that a picture will come in front of us when your meme finally reaches hot right so that is a meme right so that is a url so we will be using our url only basically so uh, we are having the json object json response right now one more thing once uh, we are doing this thing we have to add a request in this queue so to do that thing simply come here now to make a request uh, you need one more thing we have to add a request queue so first we will create an object of request queue uh, so I will do this one request queue and I will give it name a queue uh, It will queue equals to I will give volley where we will call the volley Volley dot new request dot new request queue and in this context we have to pass the context this Right, so we have created a re reference queue Sorry, it will be request not reference it will be request queue okay so you will see uh, we have to import this one also so click on import it will be imported request queue equals to volley request queue we have created an object queue and after creating the object queue we have to do one more thing we have to do queue uh, then dot add and inside this we have to pass this json object right in which we are calling the api so we have to pass this json object here so i'm pasting it here and give the semicolon so that is all it is done so that is how we can call a basic api that is first is our url api in which we are calling then we are building a request queue uh, where we are using our volley library then we are creating a json object <laughs> we are creating a json object where we are getting the response and finally we are adding this queue to this volley right now inside this uh, response what we have to take is the url so i will create a string because all the things are coming as a string format so i will write uh, image url equals to uh, in this response we can work with this response so i will write response dot uh, get string and in this we have our url right 
so i will simply write url now uh, one more thing to add an error also i will simply uh, if we get any error uh, i am adding a toast here that is uh, error to show the error right now in this uh, request queue uh, we are getting the response now you will see that uh, i have written this thing that is uh, string image url equals to response dot get string now there is a try catch error block we have to give you can see it is an error so if you hover into this you will see surround with try catch so simply do that it will surround the uh, this get response in this try catch right so that if any error comes it will uh, not perform means our app will not crash simply so that is done now uh, i am getting the string url right now we have to use our so now we have to use our glide so that we can load our image right so i will simply write glide to use our glide library i will write glide dot width and inside this width we have to pass our context so i will write get application context and then again a dot with the url i have to give so i will write image url that i have done right image url and after that again a dot and uh, then i have to give where i want to load this thing so i will give binding binding dot meme image that the thing we have created in our main activity the image image view right meme image so we want to load in that so i am giving binding dot meme image give a semicolon and it's done and it's simply done right so now uh, we have to also set the progress bar right so to set the progress bar at this point of time i want uh, binding binding dot progress bar i haven't uh, gave anything i think so in this progress bar let me come into the progress bar i will give an id loader loader right id loader now we can use this in the binding dot loader dot set visibility and i will give here view dot visible right so this uh, progress bar will be visible and after it is loaded i want that it visibility should be gone it will gone right so once it is done the visibility should be gone right so that is the binding feature and also i want uh, the visibility of the image view so i will write binding dot meme image so i will give this uh, set visibility and i will write here visible after the progress bar is going i want to show the image view right and also at uh, this point of time i want to make this visibility gone for the image view right now if you come here and let us uh, read on this one and one more thing that uh, we have to call this get meme at uh, when we are getting means when our main activity is running so i will call the get meme function here also at the beginning right we are we were previously calling only at the button click so we have to call it in this part also so that whenever someone opens the app a meme will come in front of him right so let us run this one and let's just see okay so now you can see that it is loading but nothing is coming right so because this thing is happening because we have to use our internet permission so for that we have to come into our manifest file and in this manifest file uh, from here in this manifest we have to add a permission so and that permission is for user internet access because without using the internet access we can't use this thing so for that uh, you have to come here in this one and paste the user internet access so that is the yeah. permission user permission android internet and once we read on this app it will now perfectly working fine it should work perfectly fine it is getting the memes and it is putting the whole thing so let us just see now it is loading and the progress bar has gone it means that the thing is working but image is not still showing so why is it happening okay 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 so you can see this meme image right so it was a gif image so it takes a little bit of time to load the image into glide right so that is all now if you click on next it will load and it will again come another meme image right so that is our basic meme sharing app and the whole thing is 
working perfectly fine right so if i click on next it will load and it will come another meme right now what we want is we want to create a share functionality so whenever we click on this share we can share this meme right so to do that uh, i have already uh, created some functions in my previous video of birthday sharing app so if you have not checked that video you can go and check that video right so first thing that i have to give here is bitmap so i will give a bitmap for sharing the image that is our function share meme so i have to write a bitmap and i will give image get bitmap from view binding dot meme image right uh, in this i am passing the meme image as our view and let us just create this function get bitmap from view so this thing i have already shown you in my previous video also so i am pasting the whole code here so it is like a bitmap get bitmap from view we are passing a view here and after that we are returning this uh, return bitmap create bitmap get with hide bitmap config this one and uh, then canvas canvas this one drawable and these things so i have already showed this video previously also in my birthday wishing app if you want to uh, understand this thing you can check that video okay now we have another two functions so first i will write that function so i am getting this image from here and then i am creating an another function share image and text and inside that i am passing this bitmap image now i have to create uh, this function also get means shared image and text right so i will do the same thing that i did previously i will paste the function here shared image and text bitmap image i am taking then we are passing an uri uri equals to get image to share so i have to create another function also get image to share so i will uh, paste the whole thing also same thing again mm, so i am coming here pasting again the function get image to share bitmap images now here you can see that this is our previous thing so i will change it to meme image meme dot png now this is our file provider so i have to create this one also so meme dot png images and here i have to write png right so th this is our basic thing uh, in this function share meme whenever we are clicking the button this function is running and this function we are calling a bitmap so that our layout of the image view will convert into an image so in this get bitmap from view i am converting through the canvas and then we are passing as an image then we are calling share image and text so in this uh, in this function what we are doing is we are passing intent action and here we are converting uri into file folder and then we are performing the same thing right now two things we have to add from here so first come in the project section okay and in this resource come in this resource and then we have to create an re new resource file android resource file so click on this one and the file name give it path and in instead of values convert it into xml and click on ok so it will create a new file that is path.xml right now in this path.xml you have to uh, write a code here that is our path so i am um, coming in this code section i am deleting the whole thing i am pasting it so in this one you will change it to meme okay meme and in the path that is images right so this is our path.xml this is done i think now i'm closing this one now next thing come into manifest file again you have to come in the manifest again and here you have to add a provider so first thing come in the manifest open the manifest file right in this manifest after this activity you have to pass a provider right so this is the thing i have written also there path.xml we are coming from here and all these things so copy this whole thing and paste it here i will provide the code link at the description so that there will be no problem you can come and check my code and you can do this thing correctly if you want to understand the whole process how the thing is working i have explained the whole thing in my 
uh, birthday wishing app video that is the previous video of the android series so you can also go and check that video to understand the whole process how it is working so in this video i am not explaining all these things so i think uh, that is our basic function so let us just run this thing and let's just see that whether the thing is working perfectly or not so you can see gradle build is running so you can see that uh, this is coming in error because i have another app also so having the same thing so i have to remove this thing and uh, now if i run this one let us just see so now it is uh, working perfectly so previously i was having the same app in which this file if i come into wait let me show you mm, if i come into the android manifest so you can see that the file path uh, com dot reshuffle dot shared image file provider. This is an authorities uh, that can't be same. It should be different for different projects. So I created a project also that has the same thing. That is a both wishing app. So I remove the both of the apps, and now the error has gone. So if you are facing the same error, you can uh, remove the other apps, and you can do, or you can also change the thing from in this your file also, right? So that is our basic meme sharing app. Here you can see the thing is coming. If I click on next, it is loading and it will come if i click on next it is loading and the image will come yes so the image is coming right meme sharing app uh, why does my back hurts also me yes right so that are basic memes uh, these are coming from reddit using an api right so we have successfully learned how to do the things of apis so if i click on share also let us see you will see an intent of share will come here and if i now click on message uh like if i click on say message this one so you will see that in this message the image is coming right and if i click on send uh, this is not available because of my network but the image is coming right so that is the basic thing i want to show in my emulator i don't have other things so i am unable to show you but uh, that is the basic things you can use this one right so that is the basic thing you can use this one so that's a simple basic me map i hope that all the things are now clear to you that how we do the thing at a glance if i show you uh, simply we are calling get memes at uh, the beginning of the app when the activity is launching and on next click button so that is this one and to share the image meme image i am calling share meme now you can modify many things in this button in this app and you can use it you can share it with your friends if you are running it on your local mobile you can share this whole meme to your whatsapp or facebook right so that's all for today's video so that's all for today's video all of you guys like i hope that many of you have liked this video so like this video subscribe my channel so that was the basic api call fetching data using memes and all these things and all the stuffs i hope that it is like clear to you all and if you are facing any problem you can comment me down in the uh, comment box right so that i can solve your problem easily right so till then bye bye have a great day i will meet you in my next video so to see in so see me in my next video subscribe my channel don't go without subscribing the channel i will see you in my next video so till then bye bye have a great day